myself abhilash today we are the session is familiarizing moodle how you can use moodle so okay we can start with our session i think most of the people are familiar with moodle we already uploaded the document in moodle you can see that document how to use moodle for your educational purpose or how to familiarize moodle why we are using means all the materials and all the software packages everything we will upload to moodle only we are not going to send any mail to all the participant or all the remote center coordinators so you just log in to moodle and check for updates so we will post all the ppts pdfs the software related things apks and all the things in moodle so you can download it from and use third one is for uh, the main workshop each and every participant will get a moodle id and password that the moodle activation link we are not at send maybe today or tomorrow we will send the moodle activation link to their mails so once they click the mail once they open the mail and click on the corresponding link their moodle id and password will automatically generate and they can see the moodle id and password uh, once they got the moodle id and password they should log in to moodle at least they should log in the moodle and just study how to use the moodle and all the things so i think some of the senders already know moodle they are using moodle so anyway i am explaining moodle means modular object oriented dynamic learning environment it is a course management system so you can create a course on that and you can add your students as students so if you want to conduct quizzes that is possible through moodle we already conduct some quizzes through moodle and we already uh, if you want to submit assignments you can submit assignment you want to create a link for submitting assignment then you can create assignments and you uh, tell to your students to submit assignment through moodle and quizzes so in the last uh, friday around 349 people are attended the quiz i think most of the people uh, some of them are missed the quiz okay no problem so i think you can see nice graphs and all the things in this overall number of students achieving the grades and all the things so if you use for your college it is very simple you can download the moodle from it is an open source software you can download it from the net and you can install in your corresponding sender also if i want to see different uh, remote senders that is also possible if i click on this thing so i can see what are the correct answers what are the wrong answers everything we can see in this okay for the main workshop what are the main problems occur in the moodle some of the people are forgetting their password some of them are forgot their username so they want to reset their password and if they want to know what is the password if they want to reset the password then it is possible you can see a lost uh, password button here if you forgot your password you just click on the lost password button then it will ask it is through search by username otherwise search by email address anyway i will put my email address here so you can see if you supplied a correct username or email address then an email should have been sent it to you so i will check my email so you can see there is a mail from admin user so i am clicking on the mail in that mail you can see you can see hi abilash someone probably you has requested a new password for your db based model if confirm this you want to confirm if you click on this it will confirm so it came here again one more mail will come to my email address so you can see one more mail is come now the password is changed you can see the password my user id and password you click on this link it will directly ask for the password search we login once you log in it will 
so you mm, you can see the current password and the new password the current password you already got in your mail that you want to put here and then you want to sell the new password so password has been changed continue so now i can view the course course this is the way how to reset the password why i am telling this uh, during the main workshop uh, from iit mumbai it is around 10000 people or 5000 to 10000 people are attending in all over india and in your remote center maybe it is 200 500 maybe less than 5 100 so you people can help easily to them so otherwise everyone is calling here and asking i forgot my password user id something like that then it will create a lot of problems so avoiding that all the technical staff please tell them if they forgot their password please go to this lost password click on the lost password button and put your email address and then the mail should come in their email through that way they can change the their reset the password Uh, there is one more announcement there is no need to configure uh, moodle on the remote centers we are using centralized no moodle that is iitb moodle for all the workshop we are using this moodle only our moodle address is www.it.iitb.ac.in/moodle so for all the workshop we are using this moodle only you can see all the workshops here next one next next means before starting the session the faculty will upload their presentation in moodle only we will not send any mail to all the participants or all the coordinators we will put all the slides and related material on moodle only so if you go here and you can see today's session introduction to moodle i already uploaded here if you click on that you can download it from here it will ask for download after that you can use so it is very useful for you this is the way you want to download the presentations from the moodle and second one is attending the quiz so you can see this before starting the quiz the quiz link will come here so it is saying quiz one time is 20 minutes total questions how many pages and everything so you can see when you uh, press on the quiz timer would, uh, when you press on the quiz the quiz timer will start the timer will appear here or here so, and it will count down for the timings that 20 minutes means it will start from 20 then it will go down so if the participants are idle means if a participant is idle for more than 5 minutes then the quiz will automatically the login session will automatically expire you can see here the queues closed on friday 26 because uh, on friday we enable the queues from 10 am to 11 am so during that time only you can attend the queues once the uh, after 11 am it will not allow to attend the queues so if you click here it again go to the main page only so that's why if i change the timing then it will again come that's the way you want to attend the queues So during the quiz time, it is not able to. We are not permitting to view the answers. So once the quiz is finished, then you can see the answers. If I go here, you can see when I start the quiz, when I end the quiz, what is the time duration, what is the mark, everything you can see. If you want to know the details, I think you can see. If you click on the mark, you can see what are the correct answers. you can see, see here also the green means these all are correct answers only the 17th question is wrong if you want to go to that question it is possible 
and second one is in this use it is coming from a bunch of questions means it is coming from a database of uh, around 100 questions each participant will get 20 shuffled questions the questions are also shuffling the answers are also shuffling so each and every participant will get different questions that is one advantage this is the way to attend a quiz and next thing is submitting assignments right now we are not posted in any assignment in this so i will show another course You can see here, once you created an assignment, the assignment link will come like this. You can see here, assignment question, what is the assignment question? If you want to submit the answer, it is possible. Right now, this assignment is already closed, that's why. So, you can see the assignment is only available from this period to this period, that's why now the upload option is not coming otherwise the upload option will come here you want to select the file and upload the file so that way you want to submit the assignment then next one is the feedback form so for all the workshop we will put a um, feedback form on the Moodle we want to collect feedback from different participants from all the remote centers so for that purpose we are using feedback form so fill the, uh, for filling the feedback form click corresponding feedback form and you can answer the questions answer these questions and then you can answer now we are not put any questions here that's why it is not coming if we put the questions then it will come here so th these are the main things in Moodle so hope most of the participant is got an idea about Moodle now I am going for a if you have any queries regarding this, I will happy to answer. Sender 1029, if you have any queries. Sir, when clicker software is available? 11 o'clock clicker uh, software demonstration is configuration demo is there. Before that, we will put it on the Moodle. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what, about the, what about the installation of uh, Wi-Fi? Uh, in that session, they will specify how to configure a simple Wi-Fi symbol Wi-Fi router or access point but it is uh, the problem is if you use links is in the um, screens and all the things are different if you purchase another Wi-Fi access point uh, sir we have a uh, Wi-Fi point ah. already we purchased the uh, net gear sorry net gear okay I think then you can go to the manual and configure okay uh, for that purpose we need to install the uh, Wi-Fi LAN card to the same machine no, no, there is no need. You can connect your local LAN to that access on point server? and use as a wireless. There is no need to install wireless card on the machine or nothing. Because the tablets can connect through only Wi-Fi. If you, any problem occurs, you just post it in Moodle. We will try to help you. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sender 1111. This is Minot Kumar, sir. Okay. Your class is very good. Ah. We need uh, two queries, sir. Okay. Uh, f first of all, your face is very good. We <laughs> can show you very clearly. <laughs> but your, when you are coming to the class session, letters are very blurred. We can't see what is exactly you are explaining. Okay. So, sir, we already uploaded all the we already uploaded all the pdfs and ppts and videos on moodle so i think you can download that pdfs you can follow that in that it is a step by step we already put the screenshot also what we are explaining i think it is very easier to follow that steps then you can configure these things yes sir that i agree sir okay but when you are taking the class okay that Interacting with very good no when it's clear. Okay, I, actually there is a problem with the software. We are trying to improve. So maybe it will rectify soon. Any other question? Okay, sir. Sir, and one more thing. Okay. Uh, any server configuration, sir? 
regard uh, right now we are not given any server configurations but we are uh, we will suggest on configuration and you want to go for that it has around hex core intel c on hex core processor entry level board with around 8 gb minimum ram with the two hard disk you want to configure a so software right on that with two hard disk right level one and you want to purchase some access point to connect the Wi-Fi. For that we will again conducting one more session how to configure a server and all. So I on the first day I already announced around 80 percent of the people are not familiar with the Linux that is why this time we go with Ubuntu desktop installation. I know some of the people know very well about Ubuntu desktop but you consider about the other people also that is why we go with Ubuntu desktop edition. So, you if you install Ubuntu server edition you know how to install server edition it is only text mode. So, for beginner it is too difficult that is why we go with Ubuntu desktop installation. Okay. So, we need to install the server edition or desktop edition? If you are Ubuntu? familiar with Ubuntu server edition you can go with the Ubuntu server. But all the software should work on that that is the only one condition. Okay. Sender 1, 2, 3, 8. If you have any queries, you can quickly ask. Uh, sir, my first question is can we use Fedora in place of Ubuntu? You can use Fedora, but I already mentioned the software should work on that. Okay, sir. And wh what is the setup required for uh, our uh, this uh, faculty classes on 10th and 11th? Complete details uh, we need of uh, ser server and uh, Wi-Fi system and uh, other things wi what are the wi requirements wi -Fi is for that? Wi-Fi is mandatory what are the softwares we are covering here like Apache, PHP, MySQL, Tomcat plus clicker client installation that also installed in one of the machine if you have server you can install it on server also and use that through that software only we are communi communicating with the Agash tablets. Right sir. Any yeah. other questions? Thank you very much, sir. Sir, actually, what requirements do you do, sir, on, on the 10th and 11th? Ubuntu, Ubuntu 10.4 server. Plus Wi-Fi. And clicker software. Or any other, sir? Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Plus Wi-Fi. Yeah. And the tablet connected, tablet connected to our server or your server, sir? The tablet connected first your server. From there, we will collect the responses from your server. Is it 10.04 uh, required or 12.01? Uh, no, no, you can use any of the Linux version, but all the software should work. That is the only one condition. Okay, sir. Okay. Sender 1245. Uh, sir, I want to ask you that what is, uh, sir, about clicker, have you uploaded that or uh, means what is the next procedure about clicker? No, 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 11 o'clock, another session is there for clicker software, how to configure a clicker software. Before that, we will upload it on the Moodle. All the files we will upload it on Moodle. Okay. Any sir, other question? You, and next thing, sir, uh, which uh, servers we required? Sir, means uh, uh, Tomcat, Apache. Okay. Apache, then PHP, MySQL, Tomcat. And uh, any other except this? Okay, except okay. This. Sir, uh, after this means uh, except this four, uh, whether we require anything new or yeah. uh, these are means uh, sufficient? Uh, these are sufficient. Uh, what is what is the requirement of that Wi-Fi? Means for what purpose we are going to use this Wi-Fi network? Wi-Fi network tablet can connect only through Wi-Fi. There is no other okay, okay, tablet. tablet. Okay, thank you, sir. Can connect it through wireless. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. One two five seven. Sir, ye after installation of Ubuntu, what will the next process for us? After installation of Ubuntu, you want to install the corresponding softwares. Under one double two zero, sir. Actually, me, uh, I problem a problem. Are model per jo ID banta hai, password jo reset hota hai, wo password reset hone okay, ki mail nahi aari mujhe. Okay, are you provide the correct ID? Then it will take some time, and it will receive in your mail. Okay, sir. Okay, anyway, we can continue on afternoon two o'clock interactive sessions.